Hi, it's been a few minutes. I'm back from uh, O'Reilly's. Got the uh, heat of, the heat of cord hose right here. It's the um, per se outlet, inlet, and outlet just rolls through here. Um, it's a Gates, decent. I don't know if you can see that part number. Let me see, you get a focus, 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 come on. Pretty sure y'all can see that, 2472 6. And uh, that's 2015 Chevy Curious. And the way it works is here, here. You take your pocket screwdriver, flat tip or whatever, and you just pick up on here. She'll pop off. The O-ring is inside. I already checked it. I'm gonna lube it up and grease it. And um, pop this thing off. We try to lose minimum antifreeze doing it. Um, it is what it is. Finna get it done. Move on with troubleshooting. Yeah, you fit in the frame right there. We'll see how that goes. Just fit straight up. Let the frame flies. See if I can get it in there. Take the beads, squeeze on it. Okay, I got a bite. The beads are locking. I think it's locked into place. Let's see. I'm squeezing, holding it, look at that, man. Like a, shit like a glove on a rooster. <laughs> yeah, like a glove on a rooster, as I said. Now, we go to fun part. I'm going to um, put that connection loose with it. Should be, it should be free, should be freed up because uh, this was just replaced a couple days ago, so. I should be able to pull that off and let that water, oh yeah, it's already wiggling. So I'm gonna let that water just drain down into that pan. Got all that. Uh, you can say 90% of it's hitting that, hitting that back over there. Going for the going see about that little clip on the bottom. It's pretty say upside down. Get my prior driver in there, hopefully. Got a feel for it. I got that little clip down. It's right there. I got to pull all the way down. And just wiggle it back and forth. You gotta point it down towards the bucket once you get it loose. It's got a few uh, plastic clips it's got to come out of. And this clips on to a little clip. You'll see it over there when you pull it off. I think this one is the same way. It's on a little clip, but I can feel it. 
Yeah, it's the same thing. And right over here, where I showed you the leak earlier, you can see it. Got a little worm clamp right there. I'm gonna take off with a small flat tip screwdriver right there. Bye -bye. Boy, you think it was cutting into it. Can't say for sure. It's like it's up against this block. Oh yeah, holes ate up. Okay, let's see. Got it all the way out, folks. Got it out. Uh, I ain't saying that clamp was too tight, but I can't. As you can see, I there you go, got it broke out there. Yeah, she was leaking. He was leaking around where this clamp was on there at. Pretty sure. Yep, I'm pretty sure it was right in there. But, boom, we're gonna get it replaced. Like, it's, like I said, in, inside of here, down inside there, there's an O-ring right in there, which I want to put, put a little grease on it, a little oil or something, grease it up, so just so it'll slip on there easy. And I'm going to match these up right quick. When I say match these up, meaning, as you can see here, and this one has the clamp marks on it. This has the clamp marks on it. These clamp marks, which I'm gonna try to get these, these clamps and hoses in place, get them close in the facility where they need to be. All right then, let's get this baby routed. Uh, hose clamp. Put it back on like this. Get it back somewhat on the hose a little bit. You don't want to tighten this up, up. You just want to get it. So you ain't got to do that many turns down there when it's down there in place, you know. See, it's hard to, it's hard to pull up there. We'll loosen it a little bit. All right. That's close enough. That's where I want it. And goes upside down. And this is what I was talking about. I had that little power drive, power driver, or plier, or pry bar, pocket pry bar. What it is is you want to pull this up until it's there. I don't know if you'll be able to see these notches. See a little notches in both sides in the notch. And once you push that, bam, it's on there. It won't come back off. So you just pull this up to the groove. Some people take it all the way off, but as you can see, once it's up in those grooves, you don't have to, it's not, you can't even see it right there. So you should be able to just push that on. And now I got the clamp on, turned out the way I think it should be. Chevrolet GM screw, that's cool, compatible, which got the hose replaced. Don't see any leaks. Cooler levels holding steady. 
Uh, I'm going to drive it around my neighborhood a few times with the air con with the AC running, just to see how hot it gets. All right, been driving for a while, and I say a while. I would say a good 45 minutes. It's right now 2:42. I think I started at 2:01. The reason I'm saying 45 is because I had the car running. 15, 20 minutes prior to that, just sitting in my driveway. Temperature right now, it says 208. The hottest I saw it was 216, and it started cooling off immediately. Uh, cooling fan, I've been hearing it kick on and off. Thermostat is obviously working. As you just saw, the temperature just dropped and dropping. I'm sitting in my driveway, once again, car running, AC on, like normal. I drove it 70 miles an hour, speed limit, um, to a turnaround. As you can see, it's still drop. Temperature is still dropping. Bye. How's it going out there? Uh, give me an update on that Chevy Cruze Part 2. Um, I went by and picked up the uh, hose and got it installed. Took the car out for a uh, test drive. And in the video, you'll see me have my um, scan tool hooked up so I can monitor the um, actual in the actual engine temp, coolant temperature around. And um, everything was good. <laughs> so, drove it around for a few minutes, got it back. And when I got it back, I put my tester on it. And, um, I pressed it back up to uh, about 10 psi just to see if I had any leaks on that hose. No leaks, so I decided to go ahead and press it up to about 15. The um, field cap said 20 psi, so I went up to about 15, 16 psi, and uh, I stepped in the house, got a drink of water, come back out, and I saw it had dropped like three psi. Now, that kind of bothered me, so I looked, started looking around, looking around. And I pressed it back up to about 16 PSI. And sure enough, I noticed a couple of drops coming from the water pump. And then at the time that them drops came to a steady little trickle. So uh, I uh, took my tester off, started, that, started the car up, and uh, the car was running. Zero leaks, none at all. So I just let it sit there, come back up to uh, operate temperature. Went and checked, then I still didn't see a leak. <laughs> I was like, okay then. So I put my tester back on it, pressed it back up to about 15, 16, and held it there. And sure enough, I saw trickles coming out of the uh, water pump. So while the car was running, I wasn't getting that leak. So um, I don't know if the system pressure wasn't building up to 15, 16 or what, but I put that test on there, I saw that leak, Hey, and I changed that, uh, the water pump was a, um, come from O'Reilly's, I forget what brand it was. It wasn't Duralast, uh, whatever brand, it was Lifetime. So I pulled it off, got it off, took it to O'Reilly's, they exchanged it, got it back on, pressed it back up to 15 PSI, and held like a champ, held for over 30 minutes. So I, uh, took my test off and actually drove it about 25 miles or so, come back, everything's good. So uh, I do have uh, I have that video also of me doing the uh, well, footage of me doing that water pump, getting it off, putting it on, but um, the audio didn't come out as didn't come out the way I liked. It. So it'll be so it'll be a voiceover again. Uh, so you can see I'm working on getting my audio up and uh, good. So, uh, you guys, thanks for watching. You can look me up on Facebook, Larkin Lube, LLC. You can hit me on Instagram, at Larkin Lube. Visit the website, uh, LarkinLube.com for any questions. And hit that subscribe button, leave feedback, comments, thumbs up. Thumbs down. Hey, I can take it all. Won't stop. Don't quit. Dark and move out.